picture this. It's the 90s and you want to stand out from the crowd with a car which encompasses all the looks of the latest supercars with iconic features like pop-up headlights, some impressive headline figures, but you need four seats and a big boot. BMW saw a niche in the market and released the new 8 Series range, with sleek supercar looks, a V8 engine and practicality similar to that of the 3 Series of the same era. This was my second visit to Car Iconics, a place I've come to love for their eclectic mix of supercars from all eras and this incredible 850 CSI, which didn't come with a V8 but a V12, a rather special V12 too. The 850 CSI in my book is still one of the coolest cars ever built. I mean, it's got pop-up headlights for a start, but it's got supercar looks for a GT car. Not many cars have ever really pulled that off before. It's incredibly comfortable. It's got absolutely everything you could possibly want from even a modern luxury car. And to top it off, the 850 CSI comes with not a 5 litre engine like it does in the standard 850, but a 5.7 litre V12 engine, pushing out 375 brake horsepower. Now that engine is quite special because it was used in another car. Can you ever think what else had a BMW V12 back in the 90s? Yep, that's right. The engine block in an 850 CSI is the same used in a McLaren F1. The CSI also came with slightly tweaked styling. The front and rear bumpers were redesigned to give better aerodynamic capabilities. It was also pretty advanced. If you think you're all fancy in your AMG GTR or 812 or SVJ with your four wheel steering, this had it back in 1992. It does mean that for a big heavy car, it handles rather well. The looks probably make it look like it's going way faster than it actually is. If you see an 8 series BMW on the road, it's one of those that gets the bottom lip nod. The, hmm, that's cool. It's one of these cars that I think all petrol heads just have a unanimous respect for. It just still looks great and it's so striking. Some of the earlier cars, the wheels looked like they were just a little bit smaller, but this one has the bigger Alpina wheels, which just adds to the styling beautifully. I think it's a must have, to be honest, as is this manual gearbox. It still feels like a proper BMW gearbox I remember my dad, he had a 323i E30 when I was little and it's just got that same feel to the gearbox that that had. It's quite a long throw but it just feels sturdy. The whole car feels sturdy. It's just got that solid BMW build quality that you'd expect. There's no squeaks or rattles or anything for a car that's knocking up nearly 30 years old. The 850 CSI is quite a rare car. There were only 1,500 made worldwide and only 58 UK right and drive cars. So coming across one is rather difficult. And because of that, prices seem to be skyrocketing. This one is a super rare car in that, unlike the moon mileage cars that you can usually find in the classifieds, this is just done 39,000 miles. I mean, this car is a full-on cruiser. You can't really throw it around on tight country lanes, but it does handle really well. The A50 CSI was a lot stiffer. It came with stiffened dampers and springs, and 
The whole car was tuned and developed by the M division of BMW. This is the closest that you'll ever get to a BMW M8 because of course they never actually built such a thing. Apparently it was on the cards but was pulled last minute which is a massive shame really. I've been dying to drive one of these 8 series BMWs for ages. So to get behind the wheel of an 850 CSI is quite special. I honestly think it's one of the most underrated and overlooked cars from this period. Considering the looks, it's usable, it's still reliable, I reckon it's probably quite a safe place to put your money. I can't see these coming down in value and they're only just going to get cooler. It's a good buy. I'm very tempted. No, this one because this is way out of my price range. Thanks again to Car Iconics for allowing me to come and drive what was another one of the cars I remember growing up longing for. With practicality like this, supercar looks, this has to be one of the best all-round cars you can get from the era, and one with its solid BMW build quality is still usable today. It's a car which I don't think has ever been repeated, not even by BMW themselves with the new 8 series. Can you think of another car which has these sleek looks and practicality? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel.